So this is the definite integral, and all that means is that when you have numbers here, um, after you integrate it, you're going to plug these numbers in. So let's try u substitution. So whenever you try u substitution, you re uh, usually want the denominator to be u. So in this case, if there's a square root, be, let u be the inside of the square root. So u will be 2x plus 1, so du will be 2dx, because the derivative of 2x will be 2, 1 will go away. So is there a 2 here? No. So we're going to divide each side by 2, and it'll be du divided by 2 is equal to dx. So we what? why we did that, whoops, why we did that is because we want the new one to look like the old one, um, but just like simpler. So uh, we want to represent the dx, right? So dx is equal to du over 2. So all I'm going to do is just have 1 half right here, and then 1 half times du is equal to du divided by 2, and that equals dx. And I said u is equal to 2x plus 1, so it's 1 over square root of 2x plus 1. So all I'm going to do is rewrite it as u here. And that's all I did. So now this is easier to integrate. So you can once again rewrite the square root as 1 half. These two things are exactly the same. Square root of u and u to the 1 half are exactly the same. Don't forget the 1 half. So now, uh, once again, you rewrite it one more time. So u, half, u to the 1 half power can be rewritten as u to the negative 1 half power. Once you do that, uh, you can use the integration rule, which just says um, add 1 to this, add 1 to this, so it'd be uh, adding 2 over 2, so you'd get 1 half, because 2 over 2 minus 1 half is just 1 half, and then you divide by this. So when you divide, so when you divide by 1 half, that's the same as multiplying by 2. That's why I have the 2 right here. So, <clears throat> so now what happens is that the 2 and the 1 half cancel. So just to clarify, I want to make sure that um, you didn't get confused in this step. Uh, so u to the negative 1 half, um, all I did was the power integration rule. So I'll just write it out. So uh, u to the negative one half. All I'm doing is adding, adding uh, two over two, and so and then dividing by the new um, exponent. So what I get is u one half, right? Because uh, two over two plus one half is just one half, and then I'm going to divide by this one half. So when you divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying. So you're going to get 2u one half. And that's what I got here. 2 times u one half uh, times one half. So this 2 times one half will cancel and now you'll evaluate it at this. So what you'll do is just evaluate 4 and 0 and so all you're going to do is just plug it in. So you plug in 4 and then you're just, you'll just plug it uh, 4 in and so uh, you'll plug in 4 and it'll be 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 and you'll and you'll subtract it and then plug the second number in. So as I did here, so it's just you take the same thing. Oh, it's raised to the power of one half. Well, that's the same as square root. So you just plug in the first number, plug in the first number, which is four. Four times two is eight. Plus one is nine, and then minus the same thing, but um, minus the same thing except you plug in the second number. So it'll be 2 times 0 is 0, it's 1, square root of 1 is just 1, square root of 9 is 3, so 3 minus 1 is 2. I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.